Law enforcement departments in the Valley and across the country are constantly trying to find unique ways to recruit new officers. Here on 21 News, we have reported on the struggle for police and sheriff's departments to maintain enough manpower. Kent State Trumbull is offering a new program starting this fall to high school seniors for students that are interested in getting into the justice field. Here to tell us more about it is Kent State Lecturer of Criminology and Peace Officer Training Academy, Lori Singer Bear. Lori, thank you for taking the time. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. Yes, this is a huge topic across the country and here in our region. Can you tell us uh, about the new Youth Police Academy experience and what students are going to learn during this four week program if they go this fall or if they go in the spring? Yes, I would love to. So the director and I, Director James Willock, uh, this was something that we started talking about when Kent State and I, uh, when Kent State actually hired me back in the fall. We were talking about ways to, you know, invite young learners onto campus. And, you know, so many young police officers kind of get wrapped around the thought that they have to wait until they're 20, 21 years old to go to the police academy. And we want to get them involved when they're a little bit younger. So we, you know, I am a lecturer of criminology and justice studies and for the associate's degree program. And our police academy is actually worth 22 credit hours towards the associate's degree program. So we want young learners to start right out of high school, going to the academic program and then moving on. Since our program, we want to reach out to all learners across the, you know, across yeah. the whole spectrum. And that's something that we really want to reach out to starting from high school. So that way they kind of don't feel like they're forgotten about. Oh yeah, absolutely. And get their feet wet, make sure this is what they want to get into. What are some of the skills you might be teaching within the four weeks that's something that they would do on the job if they got a job as an officer or a deputy in their future? So it's not just focused on law enforcement. They're actually going to meet different uh, professionals from the local community. We have patrol officers, state highway patrolmen, attorneys, judges, you know, different activists from the community. And it's all about kind of building that rapport. They're learning about radar, LIDAR, you know, prevention and detection of, you know, impaired driving, how to photograph a crime scene. And it's just kind of introducing them to that. One of our local attorneys and local judges, they teach them how to testify in court and just kind of get, like you said, get their feet wet. Yeah, and as a journalist, you know, you go through the police reports, you think, okay, what's included in that? And then also the investigations, that would be really fun to learn. I think that would be something that, you know, would be very insightful if you sit in one of those courses and find out how do you conduct an investigation from start to finish. Now, working in law enforcement, as you know, that can encompass a lot of different tasks, though, when it comes to responding to threats of violence, also maintaining the relationship with the community. What seems to be maybe the main reason right now it's hard to get young people or any ages interested in going into this field because there are so many openings. You know, I, I think the reason why some people have kind of shut away, um, you know, is because there has kind of been, kind of been a divide the last few years. And that's one of the things that we're working on is kind of building the rapport between the law enforcement community and the local community. And that's why we've brought in some of the instructors that we have. The director and I, we really like the idea of getting involved, even with our police cadets. You know, we take them out and do community engagement projects. You know, in war, we go down to the Warren Family Mission. We do volunteer work, and that is part of their police academy experience. And that's things that we talk about, you know, with the youth coming in. You know, it's not just, you know, going out and writing citations, you know, to kind of uh, borrow an idea from the one state highway patrol officer that works with us. You know, she talks about just changing behaviors and working with the community, you know, providing relationships, providing support, being out there to serve the community. And that's what we want people to know, that that's what we are training our future officers to do. All right, sounds like a great opportunity, pretty cool. And you're offering $1,000 scholarship to Kent State Trumbull for the fall of 2024 if students go through this program. So we have information up on the screen about when it starts and when to enroll and where you can go for that. Thank you so much for joining us, Lori, as always. Thank you for your time.